In today's video, multi-pattern microphones, what are they and how should you use them? Hi everyone, it's James here from Studio Spares. What features should we be looking for when it comes to buying a new microphone? I mean, what benefit does it make to me as a recording engineer to have a mic with one, three or five polar pickup patterns? What polar patterns do I need and how do I get the best out of them? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk you through the basics of multi-pattern microphones. I'll show you with some practical examples and just a little bit of science how to use a multi-pattern mic and how to get the very best results from your audio recordings. So if you're sitting comfortably, I'll begin. Before we start, there's just a little bit of tech speak we need to clarify. The way we display a mic's directional sensitivity is on a polar diagram. If zero degrees is at the top, indicating the front of the mic, and 180 degrees is directly behind the mic, then we can get a plot of the mic's sensitivity across the full 360 degree field. This will all become clear once we start looking at the particular settings of our test microphone, the Imperative Audio Lucent. The term on or off axis refers to how the mic is positioned with regard to the sound source. If the mic is said to be on axis, then the primary sound being recorded into the sweet spot of the mic is down the zero degree direction on the mic's polar pattern. If the mic is said to be off axis, then the sound is not coming from the zero degree direction on the graph, but from the side or rear. A term you might hear is that a mic has a very neutral or flat off axis tone or response. This is a good feature. Let's start with the cardioid pickup pattern. Almost all mics exhibit this type of inverted heart shape response. And this is probably the pattern you'll use the most often. Mics with a cardioid response are most sensitive from the front with a good level of rejection from the rear. This is why most stage vocal mics have a cardioid pickup pattern. It helps when trying to get those monitors nice and loud without feedback. Cardioid mics, however, are not without their issues, the main one being the proximity effect. This is a phenomenon where there is a bass lift in the tone as you get closer to the diaphragm or capsule. This can be desirable and used to great effect by an experienced vocalist or performer. However, often when recording, we want to capture a neutral tone, so knowing about the proximity effect can be handy knowledge. The mic I'm talking to you on now is set to cardioid, and you can hear, as I get closer, the bass frequencies in my voice become more pronounced. As I back off, the tone becomes more natural. As the name somewhat gives away, a mic set to omni or omnidirectional is sensitive to sound coming from the full 360 degree field around it. An omnidirectional pickup response is generated using two matching diaphragms back to back in a single capsule, hence not all condenser mics have an omni setting. Single diaphragm mics normally only offer a cardioid response. Omnidirectional mics do not suffer with the proximity effect like cardioid mics do, as you can hear when I set the lucent to omni and get closer. However, don't think that this solves all problems, as due to an Omni mic being sensitive in all directions, other close sound sources are picked up just as well as if they were on or off axis. This includes any sonic reflections from hard surfaces. So if you're in a live sounding room, stick to cardioid for your vocal recordings. Legendary recording engineer Al Schmidt was known for setting his big band sax mics and string section mics to Omni. As he said, if the bleed sounds good, then I'm fine with that. The figure 8 pattern can be created one of two ways, either using a twin diaphragm condenser mic or by using a ribbon mic, as by their very nature nearly all ribbon mics exhibit a figure of 8 pickup pattern. Figure 8 mics are great as they have a very strong sensitivity at the front and back and strong signal rejection from the sides. This makes them good for recording two vocalists at the same time facing each other and great where you need strong off axis rejection, like maybe on a guitar amp where you want a good strong on-axis pickup, but you don't want any of the noise and mud from the edges of the speaker cone. 
A mic that can record a figure eight pattern is also an essential part of an MS or mid side microphone array, which uses two mics. MS is great when you want a very strong stereo image. The figure eight mic is duplicated in your DAW or recording platform into an in phase and out of phase version and panned hard left and right. Then a cardioid mic is panned up the middle to create a very cool stereo effect. Cardioid, Omni and Figure 8 are by far the most common microphone pickup patterns, however there are two more that come up from time to time. Hypercardioid is a more focused cardioid type of pickup pattern, meaning that off axis side projection is increased, but at the expense of greater sensitivity from the rear of the mic. We're not talking full figure 8 levels of sensitivity, but it is something to be aware of, especially if you're using hypercardioid vocal mics on stage, where there are floor wedges and side fills. Feedback anyone? The wide or subcardioid pattern gives a wider, broader front sensitivity, again with good rear rejection. This will be the pattern to choose if you have a group of vocalists sharing a single mic, or if you want one mic to pick up a physically large instrument, like marimba. I really hope that having watched this video, you are now more aware of which mic pickup pattern to use and when. And when you're looking for your next mic, be that fixed or multi-pattern, we have a full range available at studiospares.com or in store. But for now, my name's James Ivy and I'll see you again very soon.